This is a shooting star. And up here, we have a jet. I'll show you how to tell the difference. Hi, I'm Andrew, a software developer by day and a hobbyist nature photographer by night, quite literally in this case. This week is an active meteor shower and I'm attempting to catch a few on camera. To do this, I will leave the camera on continuous 30 second exposures. When reviewing the photos, I'm first looking for straight lines among the stars. So these two lines here catch my attention. Notice that this one here has color and the one up here is just solid white. That is the first indication, but not a definitive answer, as sometimes shooting stars can blow out bright white as seen in this photo from last summer. The real key to seeing the difference is looking at the context. Since I'm taking continuous 30 second exposures, I can go back and forward in time. Going back a frame, you can see that our suspect meteor debris is gone. And then if I go forward in frame, you can see that it's also gone. So I know that it was indeed just a flash in the sky. On the contrary, look up at the jet trail at the top. You can see that as I step forward in frames, it slowly creeps through the sky. This took about four or five frames to make it fully across, so I know that it was in view for two to three minutes. Way too long for it to be a shooting star. So the next time you're out capturing the night sky, don't be afraid to let your camera take one long exposure right after another. The amount of photos to go through is not as bad as it sounds. I only had a few hundred from this last night. You will need an intervalometer to automatically take one picture right after another. Consult your camera's documentation to see if you have one built in. If it doesn't, external devices are pretty inexpensive. You just need to find one that works with your camera. I hope this was informative and thanks for watching. For some bonus material, here's a quick edit of the photo used in this tutorial. The images I was showing you originally were straight out of camera before processing because finding the pictures with meteorites comes before the processing step in my workflow. Enjoy!